planet Earth. From outer space, it appears as nothing more than a speck of dust. And yet, it's the sole support for billions of living organisms. They learn about its absolute beauty and terrifying dangers. It's infinitely kind to life, but just as indifferent to death. It keeps turning the great mills of time. Those who want to enjoy life must fight for it all the time. This drunk young man driving a Mercedes skidded across the road at 160 kilometers an hour, crashing into me and several other people. We were hurled against another car standing by the roadside. I lost both my legs and my left arm in the accident. I suffered dozens of other injuries, each of which could have been the death of me. This tree still bears a trace of this accident. But its wounds are healing very well. In fact, it's been healed just as well as I have. Soon there may be no trace at all. The doctor's decision was controversial, to amputate all my limbs to seal the stumps. I was conscious, so I decided to fight. I said no. After a short quarrel on the operating table, the doctors decided to sew on my right leg and my left arm. They used bits of my left leg as spur parts. After a year's treatment in hospital, after dozens of operations, therapies, after cerebral embolism, heart embolism, clinical death, I was released from hospital to go on to the Constantin Rehabilitation Clinic. I could only walk on crutches up to my armpits. I spent half a day in a wheelchair. A new battle had begun. My body finally gave in to so many injuries. Sudek's disease had set in. It's the atrophy of bones. Within just three months I had rotten inside. I lost more than half of my bone mass. It almost spelled my death sentence. After so much suffering rehabilitation, the prospects were pretty grim. To fall apart at a sneeze in a couple of years' time, let alone break all the bones in my body, every time I tried to learn how to walk again. And it was then that accidentally, and maybe not so accidentally, with the help of some magnificent people who have the will to promote some wonderful inventions, I first came into contact with the magnetic resonance system. This therapeutic system offered me fresh hopes. When I heard from doctors I needed to find loads of money for new treatments, this apparatus and this wonderful system gave me a new lease of life. I no longer have to worry about the finances. It works wonders in biological terms. Conventional medicine using traditional forms of therapy only gave me 10 to 15 percent of the chance of recovery and now it seems like light years away from those tough moments I was suddenly able to ditch the wheelchair using this apparatus in line with the recommendations of the company's medical advisors. Within two months I was able to walk without crutches for short distances since April 97 I haven't had to use them at all. They are tucked away somewhere in the basement I'm not even sure where. Nobel Prize winner in physics, Professor Weiner Heisenberg, once said that electromagnetic energy is the basic form of energy. The life of a human organism depends on it. Our ancestors were already aware of the therapeutic value of the magnetic field. 
The first written accounts concerning it appeared at the times of Christ. Modern biophysical studies have confirmed that the magnetic field can indeed be used in therapy. As part of a research program involving leading experts in medicine, medical technology, biology and physics, the Viafor JPS was built. A magnetic resonance system which is gaining more and more importance both in preventative medicine and in treatment. This apparatus generates a variable magnetic field comparable with the Earth's own field, featuring a frequency range that is natural for our body. This field is applied as a beam of waves, with a required frequency range which corresponds with the physiological parameters of our cells. This little girl, with a hip dislocated for the second time, was subjected to this form of therapy both on the mattress and on the pillow after she was admitted to hospital. The sessions were six hours apart. In the meantime, her hip was put back in place. The first time she was placed on the mattress as an introduction to anesthesia and generally to calm her down. Then, for the next few days, she was subjected to this form of therapy. Now she's treated on a small mat, program 9 and 10, twice a day, every day. A boy of 13 with a fracture dislocation of both leg bones. This is the image right after the fracture. He was treated with a pillow, sometimes on a mattress, whenever he was down. This is what it looks like now. The time of treatment was cut by a week. Very importantly, the bones are completely healed. Magnetic fields significantly affect the growth and regeneration of damaged tissues. Magnetic fields accelerate the healing of wounds, the healing of broken bones. This is of crucial significance in clinical treatment. These beneficial results have been confirmed by doctors who use this form of therapy. Furthermore, magnetic fields influence breathing processes. They increase the amount of oxygen carried by blood. That's why they improve blood supply to our bodies. They enhance the quality and intensity of energy generating processes in the human organism. These are very important processes whose disturbance may cause grave results for human health and life. Then there are changes caused by magnetic fields in body fluids. Magnetic fields alter the properties of blood, what are known as rheological properties. They increase blood viscosity, blood flow. In all these instances, the effects are beneficial. That's another proof that magnetic fields are useful in therapy and in the prevention of diseases. Perhaps even more interesting are the results of studies on the influence of magnetic fields on the cardiovascular system. There, magnetic fields are capable of limiting the ischemic area which is crucial in such diseases as the coronary disease, which plagues all people, especially elderly people, who suffer from circulatory problems. Then the transport of oxygen by blood corpuscles is improved. I have already mentioned it, but I'd like to stress it once again.
Last but not least, magnetic fields are capable of changing blood chemistry. They act like this. They lower bad cholesterol and increase good cholesterol levels. What I have in mind are lipoproteins that transport cholesterol from blood to the liver, where it can be processed. We can also observe the positive effects of magnetic fields on sugar levels in blood. Thus, they are useful in the treatment of diabetes. A particularly promising area of research is the impact of magnetic fields on the nervous system. In a number of neurological disorders, such as Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, generalized pains, migraines, Horton's pains, which are a very serious affliction, an improvement is obtained after the use of magnetic fields. Sometimes, even complete remission is achieved, with a total alleviation of pains caused by these diseases. Bartek is a child with cerebral palsy. It's an acute form of the disease. What have you noticed? I used to carry Bartek as if he were a baby. He dribbled all the time. He wasn't able to move his head. His eyes were firmly closed. Now his mouth is still open, but it used to be open much wider. Like this. <laughs> now he no longer dribbles. The worst thing was, when you picked him up in the morning when he woke up, his pillow was all wet. Now there's no problem. Bartek couldn't drink from a bottle. He couldn't suck. He couldn't drink at all. For five years he had to have enemas. He was such a big, big baby. He didn't really develop at all. There was no progress. No, no progress. Well, he did start moving a bit after rehabilitation, but he couldn't move the way he could now. His main nerve was damaged during birth. His neck was all limp. It's all different now. He no longer needs enemas. He can pass stools by himself, with a little help perhaps. Sometimes I need to slip in a suppository. But before, ten suppositories wouldn't have done the trick. He started drinking from a bottle. Before, the least solid food he could have was yogurt. What about his motor system? Any change for the better there? Bartek is beginning to grasp things. He's beginning to hold. He started to move and raise his head. He can arch his body, standing on his feet. He can't hold his head straight yet, but he can raise his bum, can't he? He can turn round on the couch. He could fall down if I weren't paying attention. It's happened once or twice before. We can see a slow but steady progress. I would personally recommend the continued use of magnetic stimulation. I'm sure that Bartek will carry on making progress. I must tell you one thing. When my back or hand hurt, I lie down on the mattress. I don't use it regularly, but it kills pain, just like the best painkiller. It works.